Hi Britt, thanks for joining me today. We're at the northern head of um, the Northern Rivers Rail Trail interviewing businesses and you're the first uh, cab off the rank or should I say bike off the rank? Yeah, or bike off the off trail. The bike off the trail. So thank Definitely. you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. So we want to know a bit more about how you established your business and how it's going and things you've learned along the way. So let's let's start with how long have you been established? Well, I've actually only been going since June. I mean, I know the trail's been open at March, but um, my partner, um, Valley E-Bikes, he was up and running from day dot. And I was seeing all the people coming and how excited everyone was and everything like that. And I just thought, there's got to be something that I can do to complement um, uh, the rail trail, basically, or something that I could do to, um, yeah, benefit or I saw the opportunity. So, um, yeah, I went for it and decided to do picnics. Fantastic and an amazing setup. Um, you guys can't see into here, but uh, there's just a delightful selection of nibbles and dips and cheeses, um, beautifully presented. So, so your main offering, Brit, is... Mm picnics and pedals yeah or pedals and picnics pedals and picnics. picnics i chose the pedals first because of the rail trail um the whole business is um basically because of the rail trail as well but yeah um i just wanted some people to slow down and do something lovely with a family or with a couple or friends and just uh enjoy this beautiful natural surroundings that we have and that the trail has and i just thought well i like picnics i like grazing boxes I like food so yeah I just thought everyone should have a picnic along the road trail and um to me it it's all looks different to the regular e-bikes you know it's a different look and a feel of experience yeah, as well isn't it is it? it's a bit prettier a little bit more feminine yeah. I mean it's something that guys can take the girls on or something like that and just do as a couple and just you know they can have their exercises and they can eat and enjoy and relax as well so who are you finding are your main customers? Funny that you're saying that. Um, I found most of our clientele is 40 plus. Right. So, um, and a lot of, I also do big destination setup picnics as well. So they can pick a destination online and um, I've collaborated with a lot of, um, like Hasana, Hasana Farms Day, a lot of local farmers. And I do also big setups on um, beside creeks on people's properties. Wow. And so people just off the trail, people ride up and everything's done for them and they sit down and like a big group of nine or ten and they sit down and all have a lovely day and a picnic and even a swim. Fantastic. Now it's getting warmer, and yeah. did you think that that would be evolve or you, you thought it would be individuals or couples or families? I mainly thought this would take off, but I uh, the big groups and we're getting a few corporates and stuff now. Um, yeah, they're just loving the big setup, so and I'm happy to do those on those properties. And you know, it's a, usually a lot of them are the private locations that I've mm. sourced out for them, so they have it all to themselves. Fantastic! That's yeah. really great that that's yeah. emerged um, as a, a good market for you yeah. and probably a growing market. Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, a lot of the picnics are done on the beaches, so now there's a hinterland choice as well for mm. people. Yeah. So we'll be talking to um, businesses wanting to get established up the other end of yeah. the rail trail, the southern end, Casino and Lismore. Yeah. And so they they be interested in your business planning process. Did yeah. did you go through a strategic or a business? Did you develop a business plan? Yes, um, I did do uh, a business plan, um, and I do have a budget set out on how much. Um, I was going to make each month. Um, it, it it was strategic. Like I did see the market, and I knew that no one was doing it here, so it was a, just an open opportunity for me. Uh, and I've succeeded my budgets by Fantastic. far. Uh, I did add the bikes in. I wasn't going to do that at first. I yep. was just going to do pit solely picnics, but I thought, why not add some bikes to it of my own? because I was going to give the bikes to the other people. I thought, no, I might as well get... So I've also got push bikes as well. So that's how that's evolved as well, because um, picnics don't happen every single mm. day, but um, the bikes always do as well. So Fantastic. That's how and how many bikes. bikes have you got? Uh, uh, well, we do have 20 between Valley e-bikes and Pedals and Picnics, but I have eight on my own. Eight on my own. Great. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they're all in uh, in your own brand as well. Yeah. Um, so the main opportunities, in, in summary, it's delivered to you are um, a, a viable business. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like if I, I was working part time. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had to give it up because we were just, right. Yeah, I was getting so busy, and um, yeah, it, it, yes, it just. Um, Exceeded all my expectations. Um, That's it was, incredible. It was one of the best yeah, things yeah. I've done. I've never worked for myself. I've always worked for someone else. Yeah. And uh, so the, the the excitement and the gratification that I get from that has been really good for me. You yeah. can tell. Yeah, you can I tell. That. You yeah. know, you um, you're really exuding like your, your yeah. business and your philosophy as yeah, well. Yeah, I have, and I yeah, I really enjoy picnics, and I wanted to share this experience with everyone else. Yeah, yeah. and it's also good that. Um, you hadn't had your own business before because I think that's the confidence thing with some of the operators I've met. They mm. haven't done, taken an opportunity like this. So it wasn't scary. It, it just... Uh, it wasn't scary, but I also was seeing how, because I live so local to this trailhead here in Mwoomba, I was seeing the numbers every day turn up and I thought, oh, I don't think I could go wrong here. I yeah. saw the opportunity and... Um, I think you just got to back yourself mm. and go for it sometimes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Um, do you think there are other things you could do? Have you thought about any other ideas? Um, yes. You don't have to give them away. but No. Um, there are uh, oh, some things up my sleeve. Uh, I was thinking maybe getting some sort of transport so I could pick people up and take them to certain destinations um, yep. and having a trailer. Some of the operators are doing that. Um, that's something that I might foresee because we do have a lot of people from the coastal regions uh, that want to come over here and maybe mm. even expanding over to the coast as well mm. with mm. this brand. Yeah, well, you could be doing pickups in Byron or Ballina yeah. as well, yeah. you know, yeah. or ex exploring the other parts of the trail. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And, you know, I could go more further afield with my locations as well, mm. not just on the trail, but it's been the backbone of my business. Yeah, the trail yeah. has really just been a blessing for this area and it's really needed it after the flood and I'm so happy that for the local people mm. of this region that this has happened for them. And it's getting people away from the coast as well, isn't it? I know, it? there's you know, another it's a whole experience When it's windy or a yucky day at the beach, let's go do the rail trail. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So have there been any challenges? Have you had any hurdles? Um, Yes, I have. I mean, nutting out how to package everything the same way and keeping stuff cold and, mm. um, you know, at temperatures that are safe and um, getting the right things at home done and sorted. Yeah, I mean, nothing really major. Um, just working with people and get, getting feedback from them as well yep. after the event. I do love feedback and I do ask the right questions to people and, uh, and I build on what they tell me. Yeah. So it's sort of good old-fashioned customer service. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm able to adapt. Like if someone wants something special for a specific event, I do that. I'll mm. try and put that in and incorporate it with them. Yeah. Yeah. With them. Because you could be doing celebrations too, couldn't you? Oh, There'd yeah. be um, we've, marriage we've, proposals. Um, we've um, actually done a wake even. Oh, have so, you? But, yeah, there you go. Oh, so, um, wow. That was a really different different thing to have yeah. So, yeah yeah lovely um and so thinking about the best practices that you've put into your business do you mm. have any things you you think you're doing really well um i guess getting back to people straight away um yeah. and nutting out every little fine detail especially with the picnics and what they want um uh, just be consistent with the mm. marketing. Um, but something more, uh, like the, uh, that question you asked before, that I have to work on to get, you know, more people mm. knowing about this experience. But um, I, I think, you know, the customer service and the word of mouth is 
getting yeah. pretty far afield. So Fantastic. Uh, we're very, very I happy can with actually, that. I'm sitting here thinking I can see you on those um, getaway sorts of programs yeah, well, being interviewed. Not, bring it on. not by someone. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's lots of opportunities for you. Are you part of the Connect program with um, Tweed? Yes, I've registered and I've filled out. It was a little bit extensive, the questions that they asked, but yes, I've filled that all out. It's all been submitted. And I'm um, just waiting for the approval and waiting to pay and get some beautiful signage up along the trail about my business. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. So you see the benefits of Yeah, I, I fully believe, like, this has been built by the state government or whatever, mm. but local councils have to maintain it and I'm so happy to give back to that because this is my asset. Yeah, yeah, it's it's our asset, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, it's all like this region's asset, so it needs to be maintained. So I'm yeah. very happy to be part yeah. of the program. Yeah, and I think the program will be that collaborative sort of marketing platform as well, where yeah. it's all about the rail trail and yeah. and the offering to the to visitors as well. So, I think you've already said this, but I'm going to ask you: What's your opinion of the rail trail as a visitor experience oh i think it's so beautiful i mean we were so excited because we just lived here we were naughty and we do little sections before it was even open <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i think it's very beautiful um a lot of feedback that i get from people is it's a lot more it's a, it's a lot more beautiful than you think um mm. some of that canopy that along this First section here before Dumb Bible is some of my favourite, and then it opens out to the beautiful pine trees um, up near um, Burring Bar and the 26 bridges, like I know. and the beautiful tunnel. Like if you can get there in um, before dusk um, where there's no crowds and those glowworms are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so it is so pretty. I love it. I'm so yeah, people going out at night and having a picnic uh, well, or a there twilight. Is that, or... There is the moonlighters that right. um, are, are part of the trail. They do a set thing. We go all together in safety in numbers. But um, I think that is another business option that people can think about. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> um, is there anything else we haven't covered about um, your business? I just think. Um, I really like people to experience and take some time out in this busy environment yeah. that we live in and take time with uh, your favourite person or your family and just, yeah, have a good fun day out doing something healthy and eating healthy, fresh food. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks so much for, for um, agreeing to talk to our um, other businesses who are, are just thinking about opportunities. It's it's really great when people share their stories about their business, and it's clear that you're um, on the right way to success and on the right trail. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> definitely on the right, right trail. trail. Uh, thank you so having me. No, so much thanks, for and, um, giving me the opportunity to tell about my experience because. Um, it has been really different and I've really enjoyed the ride. Yeah, and I think it's important because we often talk, just talk about the visitor experience and the, or the cycling or walking experience, but we're not talking as much about the business side of things. So thank you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thanks okay. very much. Okay. <laughs>